What's up guys? In this video, I will be reviewing Dungeon Quest. Now, before I start this video, a large percentage of my viewers are not subscribed, so if you have time, please make sure to consider subscribing and like the video. So, right away, I can say that this game is, sim is very similar to RPG Simulator, and the only thing that's different is that in this game, you can craft and, up and upgrade. In RPG Simulator, you can upgrade. And right up here, I will show you a picture of the thumbnail of my RPG Simulator video, that, and make sure to check it out later. Now, something else that I like about this game that is also in RPG Simulator is the inventory. Now, it's cool that there's also a skills menu, and those skills are down here. That means you can get different types of skills that do different stuff. Now, this is actually the same thing as an RPG Simulator 2, and this is one of my favorite parts of this game. Now, without these abilities, I'm not sure that this game would even be good, or at least decent. Now, one of the only differences that are not in RPG Simulator is that the levels are a lot harder to get in this game, and the levels scale a bit slower, and I feel like this game is a bit better if you do not like grinding, but at the same time, both games involve a lot of grinding. But RPG Simulator has zones, which you usually just farm the same type of mob, whilst in this game, you fight raids and gather new weapons, which then you can equip on your person. Now, usually in these types of videos, I do gameplay, sounds, and graphics. Okay, so for gameplay, I give it a 9, just because it is, is a very fun game to play with your friends when they have the spare time. But, the reason it's not a 10 is just because it gets boring after a while from grinding and just fighting all the bosses a thousand times just to get one weapon that doesn't even impact your character that much. But it's still a very good game, and it's fun to gather the materials. And yeah. For graphics, I give it a 8. Just because I like the models for the actual, like, stuff you can put on your character, like the armor, swords, even the abilities are cool when you, like, you summon them. I like how you, the animations go. So that's pretty cool. So that's an 8. For sound, I'll give it a 8, just because it's all almost the same, and... I feel like only the uh, abilities make the difference of the sound different, and but I feel like it's pretty good since the music in all of the different reads is different, so that's pretty good. So I give it a eight. So after calculating all of the ratings, I did eight plus eight plus nine. So that was 25, and the average of that is 8.333 uh, forever. So that's actually a pretty good grade rating, and if you like, uh, please put your rating for this game in the comments if you play this game. And if you don't, you should give it a try, because it's a pretty good game. If you have some spare time, I feel like it'll be a fun game to play with your friends. Before I end this video, consider subscribing, liking the video, and turning on post notifications because it helps out a lot to grow my channel. Thank you. Bye.